We all tell a story in a different way. Some of us dramatically, some quietly, some of us tell tall tales. But one area artist tells her stories through her paintings, and you can see her work right here in the Hill City. I first talked to store, store owner Sean Walker about her business, Charmed. Take a look. Charmed is a very eclectic shop. We specialize in unusual and unique merchandise. We have everything from furniture to handmade jewelry to ancient antiquities. We also hang a lot of local art, and today we'd like to feature the art of Suzanne Paddock. And Suzanne, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your work. I'll have you come a little closer to me. Tell me about this piece here. Um, this is uh, an oil painting. This is called Peaceful Joanne. Um, I did it... Um, <laughs> using a technique that's not really traditional to oil paintings. Um, I did it with the influence of watercolor artists, um, a contemporary uh, method uh, which includes pulling the paint back off the surface. Um, and I really enjoyed that. It gives it a really unique, unusual look for oils. Um, it's also a very narrative piece. My work is generally very expressive and narrative. And um, as the title implies, Peaceful Joanne, it's, it's a very particular moment of peace and quiet um, that I think a lot of us strive for and every now and then we find. <laughs> and I love this next piece we, we have over here and you were telling me earlier, this has to do with your sister and the chaos in her inner peace. <laughs> Tell me a little bit uh, about this. Yes, this, this piece is um, a reflection of how calm she is. Um, this very soft, calm face um, in, in contrast to her life, which is raising three boys, which is extremely chaotic and a lot of fun, and she really enjoys it, but yet no matter what's happening, um, she's able to maintain this wonderful calmness about it, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about the house and the bird's nest. I mean, how does this all roll together in your narrative? Um, well, the house and the nest are just ideas of home, Mm -hmm. um, and the three little birds on top reflect her, the three boys that she has, and the cardinal is her husband, and then the female cardinal is her. Mm. And the energy of the nest is the chaos, but this is a home that they built together, a life that they've built over the years. Um, and then the house is just that idea of home, house, that, that's, that's where they are. And a lot of your pieces have birds in them. Tell me a little bit about why you bring this into your art. Um, yes, the, the crow is a very important symbol in a lot of my work. Um, it comes from Native American ideas of um, the crow as a messenger. Uh -huh. um, and then also, too, when there's two crows together, it is the idea of when somebody passes on, um, the two crows will come and... Um, help the soul move on from this reality to the next. And I, I find that very comforting. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I kind of use that contemplation in, in a lot of my pieces. And I want to make mention, too, that you do some commission work. And you can see, I mean, this is a f originally a photograph of your husband. Tell me a little bit about this and, and your commission work. Um, well, I do portraits of people and pets, um, and this piece um, is from a photo that I did of my husband. Um, the photo is about 15, 20 years old, actually, um, and it was kind of fun to find and work on. Um, when I paint, I really try to capture the energy mm. of, of the person or the animal, and, and so that's what this painting reflects. Um, I like it because he looks bemused, and <laughs> I, I can definitely see the energy and a uh, personality in the dog here. Uh, this is my dog, Jezebel. She is a tremendous inspiration for me, um, and again, this particular one is in that um, pull-away style, um, and this particular painting, No, No, Puppy, um, is just kind of a humorous piece um, about comfort of home and, and the humor that a dog or any kind of pet can bring <laughs> to your family uh -huh. and um, just kind of playing with that. And we can, of course, see your work here at Charmed. And also, tell me a little bit about this upcoming event where folks can see your artwork as well. Um, well, in February and, and March, um, I have a show in the Terrace Gallery at the Bauer Center. Um, the opening reception is March 13th, which is a Friday, uh, from 5 to 8. Um, so it, it should be very nice. And you're also part of a Bedford Trails artwork kind of show that folks can come out to your, sh your home, right? Yes, um, I'm a member of the Bedford Artisan Trail. So um, by appointment, you can come out and visit my 
visit my studio, um, look at my artwork, commission work, um, just enjoy, have some coffee, have some nice talk, and um, have a nice afternoon. Yes. If you'd like to check out Suzanne's work or just the Charm store itself, Charmed is located in the Boonesboro Shopping Center in Lynchburg. You can also call the store at 434-610-9124, and you can see a lot of what Charmed has to offer on Facebook at Charmed in the 03. You can also find some of Suzanne's work at the Bauer Center for the Arts in Bedford from February 24th through March 31st. To learn more about commissions and Suzanne, give her a call at 540-597-7286 or online at SuzanneVPaddock.com.